Four days from right now, Wisconsin will have a new governor. And today, Republican Governor-elect Scott Walker made some appointments for his cabinet, and those include former Green Bay Mayor Paul Jaden as Secretary of Commerce. Now, just this week, Jaden resigned from his job as the president of the Green Bay Area Chamber of Commerce. Fox 11's Becky DeVries was in Madison for the announcement this afternoon and has the details. It was an extraordinarily difficult decision to leave not only that, position, but also the city of Green Bay because I've been there for 22 years. Paul Jaden says he agrees with Governor-elect Scott Walker's mission and vision for Wisconsin, which includes an agenda to create 250,000 new jobs during the next four years. He wouldn't have put that number out there during the campaign if he wasn't serious about pursuing it and achieving it. I appreciate the fact that he's put me in a position to, to be accountable for that as well, and and we're going to do everything we can to make that happen by, first of all, changing the, the economic environment in Wisconsin. That's something that he has to get accomplished through this legislature. Jaden says liability, regulation, and tax issues will be changed to make it easier for current Wisconsin businesses and outside companies to find opportunities in the state. Certainly we talk about commerce and our ideas to uh, transform the Department of Commerce into the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation. I think there's no better pick than bringing in Paul Jaden. Jaden says in about six months he'll become CEO of that Economic Development Corporation as well as Secretary of Commerce. Jaden says he has yet to meet with employees at the Commerce Department and he'll be involved with the Green Bay Chamber for the next couple of weeks yet. Now, some members of Doyle's administration have expressed concern about transitioning in some of Scott Walker's appointments. Walker says Jaden will be ready to go. In Madison, Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. And you can find a list of all of Walker's appointments on our website, fox11online.com. Just look for the story on our homepage.